Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legends Out of the Wind Waker HD. So now that we have a sea flower, let's see if we can trade it for something more than that. Over here at the Great Fish Isle. Because on this one raft out the back is yet another familiar looking shape now. Kind of. Once we get up here. Just looking a little bit different from the last one. I'm what you call a traveling merchant, yes. I'm just a cheery fellow who bobs between waves in search of all manner of rare items. Cracked and pristine, wild and woolly. I came from distant lands because I heard there was a treasure of great worth on this island, but I can't find a thing. I thought perhaps my fate would cross with... Uh, that most mysti mystic of rare items, the fabled shop guru statue. But it seems as though I am off the mark yet again. By the by, for some reason, I'm uh, looking at that delivery bag of yours gives me uh, the sneaking suspicion that it might be some, I might have some rare treasures hidden in its depths. If you have anything even slightly out of the ordinary in there, would you mind trading it to me? Anything at all? This knapsack I'm lugging around, it's stuffed full of all sorts of wondrous things. Why don't you show me what you've got, and I'll show you what I'll trade it for. Trade for it. Okay, well... We have the Seaflower already equipped to... Ah, so let's use that. Ha, huh, that's... A Seaflower, is it not? In that case, would you be interested in trading it for this exotic flower? Sure. Most worthy. Then my fee will be... Oh, I'll give you a huge deal on this. 25 rupees will, will do just fine. It's a deal. Thanks. That settles things. I'll give you the, your item as I promised. Hold out both hands. Got an exotic flower. It's a refreshing flower that bl blossoms in the tropical regions to the south. If you find a place to put it, choose your delivery bag on the item screen and set the flower to a button. So by trading your goods for my goods, we've m formed a merchant's oath. As such, from now on, I shall honor our merchant's oath by sending shipments of my products to w the Windfall Island shop. How you ask? Why, my good old good pal, the postman, will take it there for me. So it will likely get there before you do. Just head back to Windfall and see for yourself. Thanks again. So, we have found two merchants now to trade with. And depending on what you trade them, they will trade for something else. And at a different price. So you might get a better deal on a trade, depending on who you talk to. Uh, now, do you have anything extra to trade to me if I show you this? Ha, huh, that's an exotic flower, is it not? In that case, would you be interested in trading for sea flower? No, okay, so I can't trade the same person twice in a row, I guess. Probably. So let's go find a different person to trade with now. Can I look at my map, please? Because I have a few places I could go to, probably. To try and get some things. I haven't got these parts of the map done yet as well, and I could also go to Triangle Isle. Or South Triangle Isle. Wow, we almost have all of the stuff, the sunken treasure down here. It's just a few down the bottom. I must have most of the trunk sunken treasure in the game, actually, based on all the circles and most of the squares. Which means we've almost got all of the sea charts. But I guess if there is 7 times 7... I can't maths. It's a shame. Well, anyway, let's sail to an island we haven't gone to before, I guess. Let's see, where are... Do I need to go this way, apparently? I believe. So let's do that. We'll come back to the trading side quest at some point, but not right now. But of course, now that we've done that trade with that guy, we now have, uh, what's it called? Exotic flowers in the shop at Windfall Island if we want to buy some of those. So anyway, let's head on this way. See what this island holds for us. 
I don't think I have the chart for this. Yeah, I don't have the sunken treasure chart for uh, Cyclops Reef, so. And hey, there's another lookout here that I need to get. So I need to do that, and let's also get the map for this area while I'm here. Oh, but there's the treasure right there. I need to get that first. I have to. There's no other way to do it. I hope that's close enough. I don't think it is. I'm going to go a little bit more forward. A little bit more forward. A little bit more forward. Got it. I don't think the music's supposed to be playing over this. It's fine, it just sounds a little bit messy. A piece of the Triforce, two more to go. Wow, we're going, getting very close to the end of those. Let's get out, please. Let's head up this island to see what's here. Some crabs around. There's also this guy looking at this lookout. Oh my, that battery of mounted guns. Ah, it's a dangerous thing. If only someone could blow the entire lot of them to bits. It is such a shame that they exist, for there is something wonderful hidden there. Interesting, very interesting. We'll have to take a look at that. Once we do whatever this island has for us. So, let's actually pick up this headstone. Get rid of that, and let's go down here. Because we have another one of these places to go through. So let's do that. Goodbye! Got them all in one go. Because the spin attack, or the hurricane spin, goes through all of them. Instantly hitting their weak spots. It's just a bit risky since I can't really dodge them. Extremely well. What was that sound? I don't know. That just happened randomly. Camp coming from the direction of my monitor. That's an, that's not concerning at all. But anyway, I think we actually have all the collected items that we need in our spoils bag since we've already done the joy pennants, the skull necklaces, the gold feathers, Boko Baba seeds, and the knight's crest. I think we have enough chew jellies to go around. There are also, I believe, 23 blue chews that you can find, if I'm not mistaken, which I probably am. But also, that's just the information I got from the internet, so... Also, I should equip my thing, because I that would help me to figure out how much health enemies have. Hero's Charm, let's do that. Also, look at the Triforce. It's coming together quite na nicely. Or the piece of the Triforce. Also, I don't need to collect any th items from these things, so I should probably just leave them. Since I've already got a maxed out wall wallet anyway. Pretty much. But I will be spending some more rupees as I trade with the... The Gorons, obviously. Come on. Got him. Just one more. And we're done here. Just have to wait. All the fun waiting. Okay, last room. And then we'll have the middle room to deal with. Obviously. Now. How effective it is is this? Not extremely, I don't think. But that is okay. Oh, I missed. That's fine. Let me just take care of, care of these normally, since that's probably going to work out better for me. I don't think we needed any more joy pendants. I'm pretty sure we already got all the rewards from that. Anyway, let's take care of these dark nuts that have already seen me, apparently. Or at least that one has. Let me take that armor off while he's not paying any attention. How did that not take out your helmet? So rude. It's almost dead. How did that not hit me? Wow. Just that bad at attacking, are you? 
Well, there we go. Just gonna leave everything else there, and let's go. Oh, but I'm tempted to open up these pots. I have to. I have to, it's too satisfying to let go. Okay. Let's see what we get. Another piece of the trifle, so now we only need one more. Well, how about that then? We're getting very close to being done with all the Triforce shards now. But I have a, quite a few other things I still need to do that I want to do, so. Though I'm not entirely sure where I'm missing so many heart pieces. But anyway, let's go get these other few things done. I'll come back for the fish in just a second. Since I still don't have the chart for this area, I'm going to need bombs. So let's get out those as well, please. Ah! Apparently, if you just keep tapping in the direction of the, the arrow, you'll move to that side of the screen, which is super confusing, but it's fine. Now, where are these cannons? Everywhere. Wow. Oh my goodness. They're just everywhere. Please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. Well, let's start getting rid of them. I can only use three bombs at a time as well. Did I miss? I think I might have missed. That's okay. Take a look at these cannons. Is that all of them? That's all of them. Very nice. And that's a very special looking chest. Considering. But anyway, let's grab that. More important chest first, obviously. Piece of heart. <laughs> Speaking of pieces of heart that I don't know where they are. And also a red rupee that's going to go into the void. Well, we only need 12 more pieces of heart, so that's pretty good, if I've counted correctly. We have 17 out of 20 heart containers. Now, let's also go get this piece of the Great Sea chart. If I can see where the fish is in the rain. I like rain, but also it makes things difficult to see. Is it over here? No. It's... Hiding. Also, I need to remember... Oh, there it is. I need to remember to quick turn by jumping. Okay, let's do that. Hoi, small fry. Stone Watcher Island. Well, the Stone Watcher isn't gone now since I destroyed the rock there, but anyway. So tell me, Small Fry, have you heard about the Golden Triumph Forks? There are such things. And that island there has one of those golden items you keep hearing about. If you want it, try asking that huge, grouchy-looking Stone Watcher. I doubt you could even budge the thing, though. You've got skinny arms, Fry. Now, it's a little bit too late for all that information, but anyway. Uh, let's go. Oh, wow. Let's go to Southern Triangle Island in the east. If I can figure out which direction that is. I think it's more this way? No. It's more that way. I have a compass. I should be able to see where things are. It's fine. And then we can go to the last square of the map that we have not got the... Map for, which is right in the middle. Wow. We're getting, we're getting there. Getting there quite quickly. I think that's probably six I reef, which I think I need, I have actually got the chart for. 
which is good. Oh, sea hats. Sea hats everywhere. I can see hats. Also, there's that little island there. I feel like the Triangle Islands have blue trues on their little, little island bits. I might be wrong about that. Oh, stop. Ah! Sea hats, why? Sea hats, why? I see hats. I see hats. Oh my goodness, I see hats. Please. Salvage. Got it. I don't know how I got that. Oh, I didn't get that. I got the fake. I... Blah. Fire. Just fire everything. Please, just fire. Okay, I think we're good now. Please? No. Got it. Maybe. Please. Thank you. Okay. First try. Oh my goodness. Also, I like how the statues on the Triangle Islands change. Orange Rupee. Worth 100. Another one for the Void. Let's check out this Triangle Islands real quick. Just to see if I'm right about the... the blue chews. Since we're missing quite a few. Get up there. Nope. I have to wait for the wave to go back up. Up you get. Get up. Get up, Link. Link, get up. You're gonna drown. Oh my goodness, waves, please. These waves are not being kind to me. Or Link. I guess they are fairly random, so... Please. I'm so sure, I, but I can't check if I can't get up there. Maybe if I get a little bit closer. Oh, hello. Just need to take out the sea hat. Okay, the waves are getting a little bit higher now. A little bit higher. Not high enough. Please. Ah. Maybe I'm wrong. I might, I just, I, I'm just going to accept that I'm wrong probably because I can't really get up there very quickly. Anyway, let's head north to the next island that we haven't got the map for and all that. All of the things. <laughs> Got rid of most of the sea hats there. Ooh, submarine as well. Let's look out. Quite a few things I haven't done in this square, apparently. So let's have a look around. Is there any extra treasure chests that I need to look at? Doesn't look like it. Let's take a look at the submarine. If you can make a submarine out of a barrel like this, I'm going to be impressed. Perfect. And he's done. Oh, there's another one. Ah! Fine, that's the way you're going to be about it. Take this, and that, and that. Oh, hello. No, don't grab me. No, this is not good. This is not going to end well. Take that. Just going to throw that away. Okay. Let's climb up this ladder. Let's see what we get for doing the submarine. It looks like an important chest, so... Piece of heart. Very nice. Just leaves 11 more pieces of heart, I believe.
Let's go. Let's go. Now, I guess I can check out the lookout. And then we'll go to the reef since it's right there. We're so close now. There's just this lookout and cannons to take care of and then perfection. Okay, let's take you out. How did that hit me? What, how did you hit me? Take that. He's gone. Oh no. Friend, no. I, I saved you. Oh, he's... Oh. It's fine. Just take out these cannons. Since there's no true chest here, there must be one if I take out the cannons. Must be. It's the only explanation. I'm inside it. I am the treasure chest. I'm flying! I'm flying! Goodbye world, I'm um, here. I'm so glad I got to do that though. I, I, I love when you can do that. Skull necklace! Wow. Wow. I'm just gonna grab that rupee for the void. And let's go. I think I saw the fish somewhere. Over there. It's gonna be strange having a completed sea chart. But also very nice. Very helpful. And possibly all of the information that we've had to collect. Holy small fry. Since we've gone to probably most of the fish, there's probably one or two fish that I haven't actually talked to for information. But there we go, six eye reef. They've got a shop over there on Windfall Island, a nice outdoor shop. Did you know that, small fry? And in that shop, they've got this really fine safe that looks to be brimming full with riches. And they just leave it sitting outside day and night. I tell you, one of these days, that thing is going to get hauled off by a thief. Mark my words, fry. Of course, if it were to if, if I were to find a thief in the act of thieving, I'd stop the proprietor... perpetrator... Right there, and catch the red rat red-handed. I'm sure if I did, the owner of that shop would thank me. Yeah, he'd be happy. That would be the hottest, the, 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 the honest thing to me. I need to fix my eyes and my brain. Because I can't read for some reason, and I read words in where they aren't. That will be the honest thing to do. That's all the info I've got to offer. I think I need to stop reading quickly, because I, if I read too quickly, then I'll do it wrong. This is why I don't read things out for people. Because I know how bad I am at reading. Ah, uh, that bomb's just gonna stop right there in the air. It's fine. <laughs> Hello, bomb. Just give me a second. Silver Rupee for the void! Let's go. I'm gonna die now. Let's take out this six eye reef. Okay. Now we need to find the rest of the cannons on the inside. Well, there's one. Let's keep going. There's one on the other wall. If I can aim. A little bit better. I'm trying to move around and aim at the same time. Get rid of that one. Just having the cannon lined up straight seems to be the best option. So you can just keep sailing forward. Aim up and down while we're sailing. Just don't- you don't want to turn, basically with the actual cannon itself, just turn with the sailing. Maybe. Well, there we go. And there's the treasure chest, which I guess I might be able to hookshot to, possibly. Since I have that option. Where is it, though? Gonna have to head out the entrance of this place to have a better look. Okay, let's see... 
what we have here. It's all the way over there. Of course, I can use my leaf if I have to. I don't think I can reach with the hook shot, so I'm gonna equip things. Yeah, I can't reach that like that, so I'm gonna actually have to change the wind. And use my leaf. North? Wow. Let's uh, go. I think that's all the reef treasures, probably. As far as I can tell. Treasure chart. I think they're all treasure charts, actually. So let's take a look at this chart, if I can find it. I wish you, you could have the option to disable the charts that you've already checked and completed. Oh, there it is. Number 26. That's a triangle aisle. Is that the one just above me? Yes. I can go north from here for that then. So let's do that. Oh my goodness, the cannon and that gunship just hit the flag. I think it looked really weird. Anyway, let's go take this and let's head north. Is that it? There or is that there? I can't see. Let's just sail to get closer and see. And it's a good thing we don't have to worry about cyclones anymore. Considering that one time we went to this island and got pulled away at the last minute. Nope, that's not the right button, please. D-pad. Just a little bit further forward. There we go. And we get from the Six Eye Reef the Octo Chart. Now you know where to find big Octos. Open the chart and map screen to overview it. Well, this would have been helpful um, once. Because now we can see where all those are. I'm pretty sure we've done all of them now, maybe? I'm not entirely sure though. I should... Uh, I wish they got marked off. The big octo chart is a lot more helpful in randomizers, kind of. Kind of not though, because of trackers. Anyway, let's... I don't know if I want to check those right now. I feel like I've done probably most of them. It's over here, Tingle Island. I think I did the Octo there. Maybe I didn't. Let me check that because I don't remember there being an Octo there. Again, I wish they got marked off because that would have been helpful. I guess it's not going to tell me where on the part of the area it's going to be, so... That's the only other problem. I think it's probably north, though, of Tingle Island. Somewhere over here. Need to keep an eye out for seagulls. Not sharks. Seagulls. Oh, there they are. Well, let me get out my... My bombs. And see if I've done this or not. I guess not, but I really don't know at this point. Since they might also respawn, possibly? I don't know. Twelve eyes! Wow, that's a lot of eyes. I don't think I have done this one, though. Judging by how many eyes there are. Because I don't think I've seen this many... ...quite yet. Please hit it. It's very... ...wobbly. Missed that eye, but that's okay. That's not the eye I was aiming for, but that's okay. It's fine. It's fine. I have plenty of time. It's so wobbly whenever it gets hit. Come on. It's so wobbly anyway. 
Got it. One more. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Get that, please. There we go. The big octos are pretty cool, though. Now, what do we get? We get... That's probably not going to give me something straight away. I have to go get it from the seabed. Let's get that. Please. Please. Ow, shock. Can't see it. Can't tell where it is. Shark, you are being very irritating. There we go. Let's do that. Okay, where is it? There. Wow, I was way off. Just need to go straight, just go straight, just go straight, just go straight, just go straight, and salvage. Straight and salvage. There we go. Took long enough. Piece of heart. Well, that's where one of them was. Oh, I need to keep on looking, though. There's so many things. So many things. What's down here? Cyclops Reef. Also, I, should, I guess I should probably head to the Forsaken Fortress to try and get the... the sunken treasure there. So let's do that. But anyway, that is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.